Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into creating custom toolbox foam inserts. I will cover everything from creating the necessary files to laser cutting the foam, achieving a fantastic multicolored foam insert that perfectly matches any tool in your toolbox. This video explains how to take foam and laser cut it to create a custom toolbox to avoid lost or misplaced tools. I will use this closed cell cross-linked polyethylene foam designed to withstand exposure to oils, solvents, and jet fuels and provide an orderly workspace with color-coded tool storage. You can order this foam from toolfoam.com or by scanning this QR code. To start this project, take the toolbox, arrange the desired tools into the space, then snap a photo for reference, like this example. Getting an accurate outline of each tool is the next step. There are many ways to do this, but I have found the most precise way of doing this is to take sheets of copy paper and a pen, then place each tool onto the paper and simply draw around the tool. This will produce an accurate outline of the tool and provide the perfect amount of spacing. Once complete, take the outline drawing and place it on a scanner bed. Open a graphic software, in this example Corel Draw, then select the drop down menu file. Acquire image, and then acquire. Change the color format to black and white, then do a quick preview, crop, and then scan the image. Now select the Trace Bitmap button at the top of the page. Then choose Center Line Trace and Line Drawing. This will open the Trace Tools. Use these tools to adjust the detail and smooth out the Center Line Trace. Once satisfied, select OK to trace the line. Now delete the scanned image and convert the trace line to a red cut path. Repeat this process for all the tools. Once all the outlines are scanned and traced, create the toolbox outline. Draw a box, measure the dimension of the toolbox, and adjust the size to match these measurements. Now using the photo taken of the arranged tools, place each traced outline into this box to match the photo. Add any labeling in black for engraving as needed, then save the design. Before cutting the expensive foam, running a quick test using some scrap cardboard is recommended to ensure everything fits correctly. Place some cardboard into the laser and focus. Open Ruby, drag in, or import the newly created design. Fit the design to the page and create a job. Position the design over the cardboard using the red dot pointer or the overhead camera shown here. Select the cardboard parameter from the materials database, then push the file to the laser. Laser engrave and cut the cardboard test part. Once finished, remove it from the laser and place it in the toolbox, ensuring it fits correctly in its location. Then test the tools to ensure the laser cut tool outlines fit each tool. If there is any need for adjustments, go back to the design software and make any needed changes. Then recut the cardboard until the design works correctly. Once the test cardboard is confirmed, place the foam into the laser system onto the vacuum table. Position the design over the foam using the red dot pointer or overhead camera shown here. Now select the foam parameter from the materials database, then push the file to the laser. Push start to laser engrave and cut the design. This tool foam parameter was customized running a 120 watt Speedy 400 with engraving settings of 50% power, 100% speed and 250 dpi. The cut settings are 100% power, 1% speed, 1000 Hz, and a Z offset set to focus into the foam at negative 0.1 inches. Also included here below are the parameters for an 80 watt laser. Once the foam has been cut, remove it from the laser and set it aside. Now place in another sheet of foam. 
This will be used as a base to provide contrast. Open Ruby again, select the same design, select the edit button, delete all the tool outlines, leaving only the toolbox rectangle, and then select update job. Save this as a new job, and then push the outline to the laser. Cut out the outline and remove it from the laser when finished. The two foam parts are now complete and need to be adhered together. This can be accomplished using super glue, contact adhesive, or by melting the foam together with a heat gun. In this example, I will use gel super glue. Turn the foam over and place a glue line onto the back side, ensuring glue is on every section of the foam. Once complete, turn it over and adhere the two parts together for the finished high contrast laser cut foam toolbox insert. Once the glue is dry, place the foam into the toolbox and load the tools into the design slots. Some industries such as aerospace requires toolbox to be set up like this to avoid lost or misplaced tools as it allows you to see your inventory at a glance. This will also prolong the life of your tools by keeping them better protected and you will be the envy of anyone that sees it. All web links and design files shown in this video will be included in the link below. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.